Okay, this is a tutorial on shell scripting in the Bash shell in Linux. I'm running Linux Mint 14.1 in a VMware virtual machine and I'm going to open up a terminal and now I'm in the user interface, the command line user interface. This is the Bash shell. Now the Bash shell is a command interpreter that will take my keyboard commands, my, my input, and apply those commands, interpret them, and then apply them to the operating system. Now, using a command line interface like the Bash shell here is a very powerful way of working with your operating system. It can be very fast and you can navigate through a lot faster than using a graphical user interface like Windows and Icons. But not only that, you can write your commands into a text file and save it and make it executable and basically create a shell script or a program that will then be launched or can be launched and interpreted by the Bash shell. So they call that shell scripting and you're basically writing your own custom programs that you can use to automate tasks for your operating system and basically do anything. It's uh, Bash is a command interpreter that has many of the programmatic features that you would find in uh, powerful programming languages. So this is a beginner's tutorial basically on how to write your own shell scripts. So let's start with the very basics how to create a hello world program or hello world shell script. So to do this what we're going to do is we're going to have to open up a text file. So I'm going to use the nano text editor and we'll create a file in nano called hello.sh and I put the .sh file extension here just to let me know that this is going to be a shell script. Now it's not necessary in Linux because in Linux files don't have to have a file extension. You don't need to have a .doc or a .txt because Linux does not rely on the file extension to know what kind of file it's dealing with. Um, this is different in Windows where in Windows you have to have the file extension otherwise Windows has no idea what type of file it's dealing with. So I put the .sh there just to let me know that it's going to be a shell script. So I'll hit enter and it opens up the file and names it hello.sh and it's time to write our first shell script. So we're going to start with a hash bang, so we'll put in a hash, pound sign, and then an exclamation point, and then we need to put the path to the bash program. So we'll go root bin folder and then bash. And this basically gives us a direct path to the bash program and we'll let the interpreter know that when we launch the shell script we want it to be interpreted specifically by bash. Okay, so then we'll hit the next line and we'll put in, we can now put in our commands. We can put in our commands line by line, just like we're writing a program or any type of script. So we'll put in echo and then we'll put hello world and there we go. So it's only going to do one thing, it's going to basically output the text hello world and that's it. So now all we have to do is save our file. So in nano to save our file we do a control X and it says save modified buffer basically Y or N for yes or no. I'll put in Y and then now I need to decide the file name. Now the file name is already hello.sh so it loaded that name here for me. File name to write hello.sh and so I'll just hit enter to accept and so now if everything went correctly we should have a file named hello.sh. Let's see if we do. I'll do an ls command and you can see there's the file and let's test to see if that text is in the file. So what I'll do is I'll cat hello.sh and you can see there's the text that's inside of the file. So it did save correctly. So now it, we want to, now that we have, uh, that's it, we've, we've basically written our shell script and 
we now want to basically launch it like we're launching a program. Now there's one caveat here and that is that for this shell script, for this text file to launch as a program we need to give it execute permissions. If we do an ls-l you can see that the file right here it's a file. Notice these are all directories with a D here and this starts with a dash meaning it's a file. You can see that it has the owner has read write permissions and then the group has read permissions and then everyone or the public has just read permissions. But for a program we need to have the execute bit set so that it can execute. So we need to basically change the permissions of this file and give it execute permissions. So to do that it's pretty easy. We'll just do a, a chmod and then we'll do a plus x and then the file that we want to apply it to and that should have done it. So I'll just do a clear here, clear command and then we'll do another ls-l and you can see now the file has turned from white to green indicating that it's executable and you can see that now it's read write x, read x and read x so that the execute bit has been set on the program. So now we want to launch the program. Now with a lot of programs in Linux all you have to do is just type in the program name and it'll launch. And if we do that here and we type hello.sh you'll see that it says hey hello.sh command is not found. That's because this shell script which is basically a program is not in a directory that is listed in the path variable so basically the operating system Linux looks to the path variable to see all of the places where it's supposed to look to find programs like inside let's say the bin folder and it doesn't find hello.sh so if we want to run this program what we want to do is give it either an absolute path right so we could say root folder home then your username and then the file and you can see then it launches the program and echoes hello world to the screen right so we could give it the absolute path or it's a lot easier to just say reference the current directory and then hello.sh so dot forward slash which is a reference to the current directory the current working directory and then hit return and you can see that it launches the shell script and then echoes hello world to the screen. And so that's it. There is your hello world shell script. It's executable and we've launched it and now all we need to do is basically add more programmatic programming features to our scripts to try to do more advanced tasks and set up a situation where we can automate many of the things that we would do by the command line by just putting them into a shell script and then putting that shell script, let's say running it or automating it at, to run at specific times using uh, cron jobs or something like that and we can then really in a powerful way uh, manipulate how our operating system works.